hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner what? like that. What is going on here? Uh, I thought you could control what yourself. What the hell? I thought you were dead, Snow. And that makes it okay? What? What? Your fucking head was chopped off. Welcome back, guys, to the Wolf Among Us. And uh, Snow is apparently not dead, um, even though she was decapitated. Was time. She's back alive somehow. Don't know what the fuck's going on. Jesus. Uh, w what's going on? How are you not dead? Yeah, exactly. How the fuck is your head still on your shoulders? Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this, because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Uh, Getting her back here wasn't easy. What? But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or... At least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone, so I took care of it. So, she made someone else look like her that had been Snow. killed? What is it? Uh, what? Well, I'm so confused. I'm glad you're not dead. Oh, that Me was too. sweet. <laughs> Sweet I words. Get to the bottom of this. I just feel like. What is it? I just. I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Oh, so she just looked like Snow. She wasn't Snow. What a quinky dink. Or yeah, or maybe she was killed for that reason. If someone wants you dead, at some point they'll realize they missed their target. And they'll come looking for me. Damn straight. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. Yeah. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Um, we keep working, I'll figure it out. You should lie low. That seems like a smart move. Oh shit, did I click it? No, I didn't click it in time. If we're going to work together on this, you need to actually talk well, to Well, look, me. I made I mean, a mistake. What do you expect me to do? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs, waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Snow. I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh shit, that was a bit harsh. I have feelings for you, Snow, and you're just gonna rip my heart out. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that makes it a little bit better, but still hurt. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. Okay, well, um... I've been doing it for centuries. Centuries? How fucking old are you? TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... <laughs> Myself, yeah. Myself. Right. TJ, that's Toad's son, I think. So, we'll try to have to be nice to this guy, or I don't think uh, giving him the D treatment will do well. Uh, beating on a child toad probably will be frowned upon, so we'll try to be the, the big soft wolf for now. Where is he? TJ's over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. Hello. Drunk. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. Have you been drinking again, Buffkin? I can smell it on your breath. Uh, we have cards over here. Uh, should we talk to him before or after the body? I'm thinking like maybe inspecting the body. Oh shit, look at that. There's a big gauntlet in the background there. Uh, I've already gotten distracted. I was there. Oh, and the giant sword. I'd forgotten about this fantastic room. And why is there someone hanging? Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe seeing the body first and then I kind of know stuff about the body would be helpful. Then we talk to TJ. I don't know. Um... What are those, laxatives? No, like presto antacid tablets. Okay, fair enough. Uh, what do we got here? Let's have a look. What do we got? What are these, Bigby? These can't solve murders. I don't see anything. Why were we looking at nothing? Let's take the tarot cards. They could come in handy. Well, that's appropriate. Oh, I don't know what that means. Fair enough. These pills? Let's look at these. Antacids. Maybe this has been harder on him than I thought. Uh, I think they're actually laxatives and he's just disguising them. Maybe he has some bowel problems then, so he just he's a bit embarrassed about it. He doesn't want to show anyone. 
Perfume bottle, where'd that go? There's the book, I remember we looked through this to solve solve something last time. Um, I can't remember what, exactly. Uh, it's fantastic being back in this world. Uh, the, the, the dwarves don't look very friendly. I picture the seven dwarves being really friendly. They do not look friendly. They actually look like little evil goblin thingies. Uh, we've already looked at this in episode one, so let's just wander over here. There's perfume. I bet he will comment that it smells like snow. Maybe. Snow's perfume. Ah, I thought so. He's definitely got the hots for snow, and that's all right. She's a pretty lady. Uh, Buffkin is an alcoholic from memory, so I don't know. Can you trust anything he says? He's probably pissed all the time. Let's see the body first. I think it's probably a good idea. Let's go talk. See the body. Buffkin. So check out anyone who fits that profile. You might start with Bluebeard. Right away, Miss Snow. Are you ready to examine the body now? Yes. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's go look at a dead body. <laughs> Fucking wonderful. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. Uh, there we go. As I said, drunk person. Just can't trust him. Forgetful. Always on the hooch. Always Come up on. to no good. Witching well chamber, the woodland building. Christ, this building is like the TARDIS. It just, it's massive. And why is the body down here? This is a very creepy looking place. Um, and I don't know, there's been some graphical improvements since the first episode. Everything seems to kind of pop a little bit more. I don't know if that's just me, because I haven't played in a while, but it seems like it. And holy shit, that, that is Snow. She even has the same earrings. Uh, she's even dressed the same. This is weird. Snow, how's this make you feel looking at your own rotting corpse. Probably a little messed in the head, actually. Wow. I didn't realize that she looked I've never seen her face exactly before. like you. You're gonna be okay. You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. Yeah, it would be. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Uh... Well, what if she's not the real Snow? What if this Snow is an imposter and this is the real Snow? What if the Snow talking to me is the killer? Dun dun dun! All right, let's examine the head first. I think. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there. Ah, that's right. Before. Like with uh, Faith. Oh fuck! He's a bit rough. Jesus. Nothing. Can you close her mouth? Uh, okay. Thanks. He manhandled that head so rough, just kind of grabbed it, and while well, Snow's standing right there. Snow was standing right there, and he went and did that. Uh, okay, let's look at the neck next. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. Okay, uh, so I guess we check the brooch. That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. It doesn't look like a bottle, Buffkin. That's probably why you don't recognize it. Um, so, I think that's about it. So I guess we, uh, we step away then from the body. Oh shit, no, we got ankles and feet to look at. Fair enough. Uh, there's... Looks like she was tied up or something. Look at me being a detective. Rope marks. She was tied up? There Just... were cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Cinder blocks? So she would sink. Oh. oh. Okay, fair enough. Uh, her hand or her leg. It looks like she's got bite marks or something. Track marks. Track marks. Ooh, a junkie. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait. If the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never seen one this sloppy. It might just be failing. Glamours don't just fail. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. 
Unless someone is making glamours illegally? Maybe. It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. Oh, shit, look at that. Didn't even notice. Uh, so yeah, maybe the, this is like some uh, kind of prostitution ring with prostitutes. Uh, and they glamour themselves up to look like more popular fable characters or something to get their get their clients the the special treatment the good stuff uh let's check her hand her fist she holding something maybe her fist is clenched so she fought back no marks on the knuckles oh maybe she was grabbing something maybe is there anything in there oh she's already uh rigor mortis not getting that open Try open her fist. Uh, I have a feeling like fingers might snap off, which uh, could could be pretty interesting. So let's try it. What are you doing? Only way to find out. Okay, here we go. Uh, delicious. Ah. Oh, Jesus, Bigby. Flowers or something? What is it? Flowers. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we got uh flowers. Fair enough. Now. I guess we check her buttons. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? What? Uh, I need to open her... <laughs> okay, uh, mind if I open her coat? Yeah, let, let's be polite about this. Snow, do you mind if I, uh, open her coat? Bigby, just let me do it. Okay, fair enough. What are we checking? Um, are we going to do a breast comparison? Is that what this is? Oh shit, she's got a G-string on. You, you still okay? You still okay? I... Well, I certainly hope you're behaving yourself up here. Now that you're done burning people. What have you found out? Uh, the glamour isn't perfect. She was a drug user. Uh, glamour isn't perfect. Let's say that. Well, shut up. Glamour is defective. <laughs> defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. I was so tempted to yes. hit him before. So tempted. In the first episode. Oh. But I thought, no. We should keep going. We shouldn't. <laughs> okay, uh, a G-banger. Um, something in her pocket, and another pocket. Let's check her pockets before we, uh, give that G-bang a snap. We'll do the old pish and just pull it out. Perfume of sorts? No. Use this. What is that? Don't know. It's your perfume. Oh, shit. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't fool this, Nose. He smells also your underwear while you sleep. On your desk. <laughs> Looks like someone picked it out for her. So... Someone gave her instructions. Yeah, see, I'm starting to think that maybe this is like high-paying clientele. Um, get women to, you know, glamour and smell and look like someone they fantasize about or something. I don't know, it's what it seems like. Let's check this other pocket. I'm in detective mode. I'm trying to figure everything out now. I've seen things like this before. What is it? It's definitely magic. The witches don't usually craft objects these days. Hmm. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. You're a big Just coward. Sure it isn't dangerous. Will you keep quiet? Yeah, just shut your mouth, Crane. Had enough of you. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Um... I can figure it out. Might want to stand back. Uh, yeah, let's uh, get them to stand back. Might want to stand back if you're worried, Crane. I'm going to try to open it. <laughs> something to do with these rings here. Oh shit, we got to solve a puzzle? Okay, we got to solve a puzzle, guys. Let's do this. I'm guessing we got to make a picture match up or something like that. Uh, what's the picture of? Yeah, that <laughs> nailed it. That looks perfect. Um, okay. There's a picture. Wait, there's a little arrow thing there. So I'm guessing maybe that has to align. See if we can get a little arrow thing. Oh, look at this. I think I've already figured it out. We get the little arrow thing. Oh, fantastic. Look at that. Nailed it. A deer. 
What does that mean? Detective Monero. Oh. Hair and a picture. Okay. Uh, rolled photograph. Let's look at the photograph first, I think. And then we'll pocket the hair and keep it. Hmm? Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. Okay. Well, um, now the hair. Maybe this is what they needed to make the glamour. Let me guess. It's my hair. Looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't you be like, hey, Bigby, can you stop sniffing me, please? It's a little bit weird. Uh, you've been sniffing my underwear and now my hair. Who did this, Bigby? Oh shit. It's a glamour wearing. Oh She's my god. You gotta be kidding. She is hot. This is a big improvement. Holy shit. <laughs> well, that helps explain the glamour. Kind of. Who is she? Sexy, that's who she is. That wasn't there before. Oh, a tattoo. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Yeah, mate, was it? Should have left them all back in the homelands. You don't mean that, do you? She looks like Holly. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. Oh, shit. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go tell Holly. Right. Who knows? She might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. <laughs> Uh, okay. Do you want to talk to TJ first? Why is Crane looking all suspicious? Come on, Crane, cut it out. Uh, yeah, let's go talk to him. Yeah, I do. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. We don't want you there. We'll fill you in later. Good, good. Get out of here, Crane, son of a bitch. Uh, maybe Crane was banging the, the troll slash Snow White. <laughs> he looked very suspicious when, uh, oh, Miss Snow, it was revealed. Question. Looked a bit upset. Excuse me a minute. Oh, okay. Uh, like, you know, waking up after a night out that you don't remember, rolling over and seeing that troll next to you. Maybe Crane had one of those nights. Uh, he's a little embarrassed to talk about it. Who knows? Uh, oh shit, the magic lamp again. Awesome. I don't think we can do anything with it, could we? That's right, we rubbed it last time and it didn't work. Uh, let's go talk to TJ. And Mr. Toad's here too. And they're, uh, staring at the mirror. Oh, that's enough. Mira, vanish! Cancel! No. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! Oh shit, he's What's going angry. On? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? Yes. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. Oh you shit. You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Oh, sorry. Okay, Mr. Uh, Toad. No. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. <laughs> but I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Oh, poor little TJ. So Mr. cute. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I will be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. You up for a chat, TJ, are you? This ain't over, Big B. Well, I think it is, Toad, so just walk away, pal. With your little hat. <laughs> TJ. Oh, he's so cute. It's all right. Look, he's are so you ready small. To talk to Mr. Wolf? He's got human clothes on. Fantastic. <laughs> Watch yourself, Big B. Oh. Will you do anything to hurt me, boy? I would never do that. Wouldn't hurt a child. It's okay. Are you okay? Go ahead, TJ. Don't be scared. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. Did you we have clothes you on? Kid, Was he nudie okay. swimming? You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. 
I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. That's good. Okay. Then what? Then I saw... I... I saw the lady. <laughs> Uh-oh. Comfort him. Yeah, let's comfort him. Look, we're being nice. We're being really nice, and I think that's a good thing. Oh, I'm not going to hurt you. Careful, Big B. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in. But but she didn't have her head on. I thought I thought she was going to pull me down too. Cuz cuz she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> He means the cinder blocks. You saw the rope marks. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. Oh, shit, really? I wish I had yeah, that ability. It's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? <laughs> Got that Please forced smile. Don't be mad. <laughs> what is it, TJ? I I didn't stay under the water. What? Oh. I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it. I gave you very specific rules. You have Oi, to stay toad, quiet toad. and out of sight of bad things. Whoa, can calm down, pal. You. You're not in trouble. Look, Ellie's not. Not this time, Toad. <laughs> So you didn't stay underwater. I don't know if anyone saw me, but but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I didn't want to be in trouble. Did you see who it was? No. Okay, um, was someone, whose voice? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Do you know whose voice it was? No! Okay, okay, oh, look, I'm sorry. Uh, um, was someone laughing? Did you hear anyone laughing? I don't know. I don't know! Alright, that's enough. You can go. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise! That's fine. I want to go home. Yeah, you can go. You, you've done a good job, little TJ. Uh... You go rest now. Okay. You can go. <laughs> Quit your crying. <laughs> Get all harsh at him. Thank you, TJ. On the end. Okay, son. Okay. Let's get you home. You did a good job, kid. You did fantastic. Alright, so there was a voice. Someone laughing. We're dealing with a maniac. That went about as well as I expected. Oh shit, that was rude. Everything okay? <clears throat> we should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. You'd be putting her life at risk. Bigby is not in charge of me. He's in charge of this investigation. Uh, oh god, what what I do? Not the uh, same uh, thing. Uh, uh. If Snow wants to come with me, I'm not gonna stop her. But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. Oh god, I, oh, that was a tough one. It's like, I want to protect her, but I want to bring her with me because I don't want to get on her bad side. You know, she's she, her own woman. She can do her own thing. I, I can't be telling her what to do all the time. Anyway, guys, I'm actually going to have to end this episode here. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to throw it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already to see more content that I've done. And I'll catch you for the next episode. Bye.